I'm Yolanda Cope Stepney. This is Speak On, and this is how racism feels. Hi. A lot of people have been asking how I feel at the moment with everything that's been going on. So I thought I'd um, share a video um, as it's easier than continually writing it or just saying, ah, I'm okay because I can't be bothered to talk about it. How do I feel? Shit. I feel shit. As do a lot of black people now, as do all of us now. None of this is new to us. We're obviously always aware aware of it. We all remember the first time we were called the N word. We remember every racist incident that's ever happened, major, minor. We know how we feel. We know how it feels to be uncomfortable where you are, to be made to feel uncomfortable, to have to modify your behaviour to make sure white people feel comfortable around you. Um, so no one views you as suspicious or intimidating. It's hard work. It's like doing a lot of work just to live your life. Honestly, we just want to mind our magical black business and just. <laughs> You know go about our day but a lot of people make that quite difficult with their uh, with their nonsense you know it's good to remember racism it isn't just about people screaming the n-word into your ocular cavities aggressively it's also about the minor things that people do which you've seen evidence of um it's about the way people treat you it's about people othering you it's about people saying you're so pretty for a black girl oh my god is this what you do oh my god you went to university oh my god you listen to that music Really? I had no idea. And that is grating as fuck because you just want people just to see you as a person and not to quantify anything with the, with your race or your blackness. It's been a really tricky time for a lot of people and having spoken to my black friends, it's exhausting. We're tired, we're not sleeping, finding it hard to eat. Yes, this is something that happens to us all the time and none of us are surprised, but the amplification in the conversation and the increase in images and information, um, it, it can take its toll. And yes, we want to talk about things because you're finally paying attention. And we love that you're finally paying attention. On one hand, it's great because it means that we can say, yeah, here's the things that we've been saying all along. On the other hand, it's a little bit insulting because we've also been saying it all along. You know, now is the time to get to grips with, with white privilege. Now is the time to read the books. Now is the time to listen to the podcast. Now is the time to listen to us. And now is the time to act. Have those conversations with your difficult family members. We all know you've got them. We all know someone like that. Have those conversations. Say those things. Educate your children. Educate yourselves. Learn about the legacy of slavery and colonialism and the part that plays in the continuance of racism in society now. This is not just a US issue. It happens everywhere in the world, but this is a UK issue too. You know, people are dying in custody here at the hands of excessive restraint by police. That's, that's more likely for black people. You know, we are more likely to be stopped and searched by police. We're basically more likely to be victimised in life because of the colour of our skin and the stupid assumptions that people make because of that. We just want to just, just leave us the fuck alone, basically. Just let us live. Just let us live and please, you know, challenge your own assumptions where you can really stop and take a look at yourself. If you looked at those videos of George Floyd or anybody else that you've seen dying, the countless men and women that you've seen dying on camera, the countless times that people are calling the police on, on black people for no fucking reason. And if you stopped and thought, well, what did they do before? What did they do to deserve that? What did George Floyd do to deserve that knee on his neck and that 200 pounds of weight on his windpipe? If you are a person that's that, that thinks that, you are the people, you are the one that needs to read the book. You are the people that need to really, you need to read the books, you need to educate yourselves. And if you know someone in your family that thinks that, please, for the love of God, challenge them. Because all that showing black people is that you don't see us as human you don't see us as equal you don't see our, our humanity you don't see our pain and we have enough of that to deal with just on a smaller level on a day-to-day -day level and now the world is finally watching it's really time to take some action it's time to make a stand it's time to help us because they haven't fucking been listening to us have they and if you are still struggling with all of this um i want you to stop and look in the mirror and I want you to say George Floyd's final words. <clears throat> I can't breathe. They're killing me. I can't breathe. They're killing me. I can't breathe. They're killing me. <laughs> I can't breathe. 
they're killing me i can't breathe they're killing me because every time that we see someone call the police and someone for no reason or someone dying we don't just see that person we see that it could be our mum our dad our brothers our sisters our uncles our aunts and we have i have family in america and i worry about them all the time and it doesn't matter what walk of life whatever they do they're always in danger i'm always in danger so just remember that and just really make sure that you make all this count because because i can't breathe they're killing me <laughs>